Steven Kleinberg has been a great asset for Rice and for the city of Houston. And, you know, his original idea back in the 1980s of starting the uh, survey uh, was, turned out to be brilliant. Uh, who would have thought it would be carried forward 40 odd years later? Uh, he started it all out. And uh, I call him the rock star because uh, uh, if you go around the Rice campus or go to an event like this, uh, He's clearly uh, a celebrity, and he does a great job. You know, it was never my intention to, <laughs> to study Houston. It was a one-time survey that fell to my lot because of, of Rice University and these wonderful students waiting to, to be taught something about research methodologies. A friend of mine at that moment had just started a new survey organization, so we said our original thought was to study freshmen and seniors at Rice and sort of look at that with the changes over time. And I. You know, always believe that social science research needs to be of service to the wider public. And, and these surveys, I thought right from the beginning, the data belong to the people. And, and, we, and so when people would ask me to give talks, I would almost never say no. And it just sort of ballooned from there. And, and it's been a wonderful 40 years in a, in a wonderfully interesting city and a nice, a nice sort of confirmation of the value of objective social science. This day is extremely special for Steve and the whole Kinder Institute. This is the first time in several years after the pandemic that we've had a chance to reunite, get together with all the wonderful people that support the Institute and that want to learn from the work that we're doing. So it's special in that way, but it's also very special because it's Steve's last one, 40 plus years of doing this amazing work. And he has really set the stage for the Institute going forward. Steve has got a heart of gold. He's got a big personality. He's invested so much into this, and I think we are all very proud of him. And so I'm hoping that today really uh, shows him how much we all appreciate this beautiful gift that he's given the city of Houston and Rice University. It's indeed a great joy to be here in person for this celebration. Well over a thousand people. This is a group of people who have in common a passion for our city and a belief that we can do better and make it a greater place as we contribute to our city, our nation, and our world. Dr. Kleinberg has shaped Houston's future through his pioneering work with the Kinder Houston Area Survey. And it's something that um, we have always looked forward to every, every single year. His work has truly been uh, influential, but more than that, uh, your work has been transformational. I'm just deeply grateful to, to the city and to all the people who have supported the, the research and recognized the value of having this kind of research early on. And, uh, you know, this has been my life, and it's, it's not over yet. There are <laughs> new, new things on the horizon. But it's, it's uh, I mean, the dominant feeling I have is one of, of deep gratitude for, to, for Rice and for the people in the city and for the support across the board that we've received over these years.